Hi, it's Kari Matthews of Prairie Quilting, and today we are working on block six of our Through the Window Pane Block of the Month. This is the Cloverleaf Block. The pattern is available through my website, prairiequilting.com, and the fabric is Benertex fabric, and it's um, the specific ones are referenced in the pattern. All right, the first unit we're going to make is this one right here. They're, they'll be going towards the center. We need four of them. Okay, before we get sewing, I wanted to show you kind of how I lay out, especially for these curved pieces. You kind of want, you want to make sure that the curves are going to be on the bias edge, okay? So this is uh, the fabric fold here and there's the end of the fabric. So I don't want to like line it up like that because I want the pieces to be able to ease in, okay? And if you kind of lay it so that it's straight of grain like this way, okay? So that's how I do that one. Okay, for the blue, I would line it up here and trace here and here. And then I would just turn that other one, line it up on that other straight line, trace that. But you wanna have this part not on the straight of grain so that it can ease, okay? Because these curved pieces, you need, you need it to be able to ease. Okay, so when I do the J, okay, there's the, the, my cut on the side of the fabric. And I do, I line up the straight on the straight, and then that means this is gonna be on the bias. Okay, the curves will be on the bias, and it'll they'll be able to ease. Okay, before we can sew, we are going to um, pin. Okay, so we are going to take, and if you remember back from our very first block, we did a very similar curved piecing. So you pinch in the middle, okay, and then that will join up with this, uh, this curved edge here. So we're gonna get that in the middle as well. Okay, and we'll give that a pinch. And then we're gonna match those pinches up, okay? And I don't know if you can see that, but we're gonna match up at the pinch parts, get the centers, and then I'm gonna put three pins, one in each end, and uh, one in the center. Okay, so there's that one. Let's go ahead and sew these curves on. Okay, and I have my needle down on so I can get close to pins and stop and pivot and all that good stuff. Okay, so there we go. And I'm using my stiletto. This is a nice gentle curve, so it really kind of, it goes together pretty easy. Okay, love my stiletto. That pin came out for me. Okay, kinda, if you see a pleat starting to form, oh, lift your presser foot, get that around there, try to match your edges up without any pleats. Okay, and ease that fabric in. And that's what we use our stiletto for. Okay. okay there's one. Let's do that other one. Kind of give you an idea how this part of it goes together. Okay, stop for the pins. Always good. All right, and the more you do, and this is why assembly line is really um, works well, because by the time you get done, you're pretty good at it, so. And it goes faster and easier. And more fun then, huh? Okay. All right. Okay, here we are at the pressing mat and we're gonna press these toward the blue. Okay. From the front side. All right, there we go. 
All right, our next seam is we're gonna connect this section here to um, the green, okay? So we're gonna find the centers by giving it a pinch in the middle. Fold it over as best you can, try to find the center. Sometimes it's a little, like this one has a deeper curve on the back side, so we'll just kind of do our best to find the center there. And I like this green part on top. That's my personal preference for how to sew this. So I'm gonna put a pin in the middle and one on the end and one on the end. And we kind of try to match this up a little bit with the edge there. Okay, let's sew those seams. And I do like the needle down and my stiletto. So here we go. We just start easing that in. Let's get that out of our way. last one here we've already I've already done two so you need four for this block for this section and the directions are all in the pattern okay and kind of fiddling with it as you do it and guiding it along Okay, now to iron these ones, um, I do this kind of differently. I found that I like this opened toward, I like it pressed this way, it just kind of creates less bulk, but I like this one going this way. So I kind of just, I do the ends and then I kind of just smash it in the middle. So I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So I do like it going this way, but I like the green going the other way and then the inner part, just smash down and there we go it'll be okay it's gonna get quilted and everything so it will be fine and the same thing here it goes that way for me if you like to if this really bothers you go ahead and press however um whatever way you like to do it okay now we will connect up these sections here into half blocks Okay, and we're gonna pin um, in the same way we have been doing. So pinch the edges, find the center, okay, and for the green. Okay, and match those up. There's an end and the other end. Okay. Okay, we are at the machine. We're gonna piece these um, kind of almost like four blocks together into uh, half blocks, okay? So, oh, I like my needle down when you're curve piecing. Um, let me find my pin. Lose my pins, get my stiletto ready. And it's the same curve that we've been piecing. Pretty forgiving. And gentle. Look at that, I'm not even using my stiletto on that guy. Um, okay. 
Okay, and one more, Our two halves to make a hole, huh? Okay, get that end in. Okay, and work that end in. Okay. This part of the block almost feels like a straight line, honestly. Okay. Okay, we're at the pressing mat, and I am going to do kind of what I did on the uh, court individual blocks. I'm going to press it, it away from here, and then I'm going to do just smash it down. There we go. And once again, if that makes you very uncomfortable, do it however works for you, okay? There's that one, okay? And again, I just like how this corner comes out better if I iron it this way, and I want, uh, I don't know, it works better for me to do it this way. So I'm just gonna set it down, there we go. And, okay. Okay, so now we have two half blocks. We will join those into one big curvy seam. Okay, we are gonna pin these blocks together now. We're gonna match up these center seams here. That's the biggest thing we need to uh, worry about. And then we'll do a, a one in the center of each of these side sections and then one in the ends, okay? So I think five pins overall. So they should be nesting seams again, okay? And so I'm kind of just making sure they nest. We're gonna start in the middle and work our way out, okay? And I have not uh, pinched the middle because I've got like this gargantuan seam here. So I'm gonna do the end, okay? And I'm gonna guesstimate and if it, if you need to adjust, when you're in the middle. So see, I'm just kind of laying it out there. And this seam is so gentle that you can really do that. So we'll just pin it in the middle there, eyeball. Okay. And again, we'll get the end here. Okay. And pin that. And now this side is going to be working from the other side, but it might be okay. I might have to stop it in the middle and turn it. We'll see how it goes. So, you know, whichever side makes you more comfortable to sew from, it's okay. Go with that. Okay, so we are here again, and we're doing the last seam on this block, okay? So it's, again, the same curve we've been doing, and we'll get it started with the pin and our needle down, okay? And it's a very gentle curve, so that's nice. And we'll just kind of work it in as we go. And with our stiletto and our presser foot and it's just yeah here we go okay so okay and i the middle i'm making sure that's the one i really need to get matched up with the at the center because it has the nested seams Part of it is really nice and easy, easy um, piecing there. It's not even hardly a curve <laughs> at that point. So, here we go. And trying to make sure that I don't have any pleating. This is why I like to piece that other side from the top. Or that I like, I like the cave part on the top because sometimes it can pleat up under there, so. This is not my preference, this end of it, but it just worked out that way because of, to keep it one seam here. So I'm really, I'm kind of feeling with my fingers on the backside and kind of making sure there's no, no extra fabric pleating in there. Okay, use that stiletto a lot. Right, 
let's open or press that last seam. And this one's kind of a tricky one. It's kind of press it whatever way you feel. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see here. Okay, I'm gonna try to put this like that. Whoops. Okay, and from the top side. All right. All right, our four leaf clover block is finished. And I hope to see you next time for block seven of our Through the Winter Pane Block of the Month. See you then. Mm -hmm.